Welcome back to What's New. Uh, as the saying goes, new year, new you. And if you're interested in focusing on your fitness in 2020, and let's face it, who isn't? We've got you covered. Three News special correspondent Emily Mayfield is sharing some go-to moves that anyone can try at the gym or, and this is the big part, even at home. Hi, Emily. Right. Hi, how are you? I'm good. So tell me how I can stay fit without going to the gym if I want to. Right, so I think something that kind of intimidates people is having to sign up for a gym if it's something that's completely new to you. So I personally love going to the gym, but there are days that I don't want to go to the gym. So I okay. wanted some at-home moves um, that you can still target the same body parts. All right. Uh, take a look. As many of you know, fitness is a huge part of my daily routine. Of course, we all have our own goals that we like to focus on, but I have a few areas I love to target and I truly believe everyone can benefit from. Today, I'm here with my personal trainer and we're gonna take you through some of those moves that you can do in the gym or at home. We are here at Old School Iron Gym in Brook Park. I'm here with Sarah Davis. You mostly work with women. What do girls need to focus on that's a little different than how guys would train? So men and women can train essentially the same compound movements, but for women, we do need that higher intensity, but still targeted exercises. So it's awesome because then we can really hone in on one specific goal for everyone versus kind of catering to lots of different things at one time. Okay, so today you're gonna take me through a few staple moves for every girl's workout, correct? Yes, so today we're gonna do the barbell glute bridge, a seated shoulder press, and a slider tuck. We're gonna do these, the engine version and the at-home version, so you can learn how to do them anywhere at any time. All right, this could be brutal, but I'm excited. Let's, Let's check go. it out. Okay, so one thing I always like to target when I work with you is glutes. So we're gonna start with that here. So this is the barbell glute bridge. And how you're gonna start the barbell glute bridge is you're just gonna sit down, you're gonna find a bench or a surface area that can be comfortable for your back to be on. Roll the bar right onto your hips. You're gonna go elbow, elbow, right and left, nice and slow. A look to the ceiling, keeping your chin neutral. You're gonna go down as far as you can, up, contract the glutes, and then right back down. And I like to go about 10 reps for a lot of my clients and then a hold at the end of the 10 is a great way to get max glute activation in these. So if someone does not have access to a bar in a gym environment, can they do something at home that would be comparable? You can hold a weight right at your hips. So for instance, we can use this ball, even like a gallon jug of some sort. You can hold it right at your hips, just make sure that the weight bearing is on your hips okay. and get that same action to where you go down, up, hold for a second, and squeeze, good. Next part of the body I always try to target, my abs. Abs, yep. So now we are gonna go into, I call these slider knee tucks. Get down into a plank position, and then you're gonna tuck your right knee first, bring it back to meet the other. I like to do about 15 to 20 alternating. They really hit upper abs, lower abs, and then they work your shoulders a little bit as well. They do not take long to burn. <laughs> <laughs> because Emily's really good at these, we can also try a double tuck. So if you tuck both feet at the same time, and then you're gonna go windshield wiper, as I call them. So you're gonna go out, left, right, good. You could I mentioned they burn quickly. <laughs> and then if you're at home, you can use anything that slides. So you could use paper plates, you could use a towel, anything like that would work. Okay, Sarah, so we have the glutes, we have the abs. Yes. The last thing I always strive for is a nice sculpted shoulder. And the best way to achieve that is a shoulder press. So this okay. is a staple shoulder press. You're gonna grab your dumbbells, pick a weight that's challenging, but that you can still manage to keep directly at 90, and you're just gonna push right up to the ceiling. Come down to 90, right up to the ceiling. Again, you're gonna do this 10 to 15 reps. For someone who does not have dumbbells, I'm thinking like cans of soup, you can use cans of soup. Anything, again, that is gonna be challenging, but you're gonna be able to hold properly in that 90 degree form. You don't wanna come in, you don't wanna be forcing your arms out. So anything that's gonna allow you to do that while keeping the muscle challenged with it. There you have it, three important moves to do, especially as a woman, for those sexy shoulders, abs, and glutes. Yes. Thank you again. Thank you. Kick my butt again on Tuesday. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Things that you can do at home. That way, if you're not as motivated to go to the gym, you right. can kind of slack off a little bit, but still get your workout in. It's nice. Exactly. All yeah. right. Very good. Now you're ready to go with a home workout if that's what you want to do. Emily, thanks. Always Thank good you. to see you. Yes.